We rip it open with barely a thought, more anxious to read its contents than to take a moment to truly appreciate its form and function. And then we ruthlessly discard it. The humble envelope just doesn't get much respect, despite its distinguished 4,000-year history. <laughs> As early as 2000 BC, the Babylonians baked special clay wrappers to transport documents. Eventually, people made envelopes from lighter materials, such as animal skins and leaves. By about 1000 AD, it became the custom to simply fold a letter and seal it with a drop of wax. But everything changed in 1837 with England's new penny postage system. To mail a letter, the sender now had to buy a postage-paid paper wrapper that folded into an envelope. One of the many envelope styles this factory makes is a 30 by 46 centimeter envelope made of natural color craft paper. A machine appropriately called the sheeter cuts the roll into 53 by 63 centimeter sheets. A worker selects the cutting die for this style and installs it on an automated press. As each stack of sheets passes underneath, the press applies 10 tons of pressure, forcing the die right through like a giant cookie cutter. The shaped sheets are called envelope blanks. Workers now load the blanks into the feeder of an automated piece of equipment called a blank sheet envelope folding machine. As we see here in slow motion, revolving steel blades first make score lines, four in all. One down each side creating the envelope side flaps, one across the top creating the seal flap, and one across the lower end creating the bottom flap. Folding blades hold the paper down along the score lines, while arms push up from underneath, folding the side flaps toward the center. Just before the flaps meet, the machine runs a line of glue down their edge. The flaps adhere to each other, forming the center seam that runs down the back of the envelope. The machine then glues the bottom flap and folds it closed. You can see in slow motion how it also applies glue to the seal flap at the top, keeping that flap open so that the glue will dry. The sender has to just re-moisten the glue to seal the envelope. The finished envelopes exit the folding machine and enter another machine that counts them and stacks them upright. This more sophisticated piece of equipment is called a web roll envelope folding machine. They feed the roll of paper directly into the machine and, as we see here in slow motion, it does everything from cutting, scoring, folding and gluing the blanks to counting the finished envelopes. For this style, a die even punches out an address window in the front of the envelope. This all-in-one machine goes through all the steps at lightning speed, 20 envelopes per second. The thin transparent film that covers the address window is usually made of polypropylene. The machine cuts it to size and glues it to the envelope. This machine doesn't have folding blades to hold the paper down along the score lines. Instead, the blanks roll through a series of rotating cylinders with air holes. A suction system vacuums the blank to the cylinder while the operation is being performed, then releases the vacuum to transfer the paper to the next cylinder, where it's vacuumed on for the duration of the next operation. Internal mail envelopes are opened and closed repeatedly, so they don't have a lick-and-stick seal flap like regular envelopes do. 
As we see here in slow motion, an automated machine rivets a cardboard button to the back of the envelope. At the same time, it rivets another button with a piece of string to the flap. Envelope factories use many different types of paper, from top quality vellum to craft paper. With printing equipment incorporated right into the folding machines, they can print return addresses, even elaborate custom designs.